It was a very early start on a freezing morning, but this is the normal drill for dolphin expert Mike Bosley and his research assistants. The more time they spend on the water, the more chance they have of spotting dolphins. Fantastic. OK, if everybody can come over this side of the boat. To start, seeing anything was almost impossible, though. I think it's going to be just too... Uh... Mike says the fog across the water is caused because the water temperature is a lot higher than the air temperature. In some parts, the water was almost 30 degrees. It's mostly, I think, caused or the really thick parts caused by um, the hot water coming down from the power station, making the water really warm compared to the air temperature. As visibility improved though, the sights weren't that good. This is where they live, just a few k's from the Adelaide CBD. The Port River isn't exactly a dolphin's paradise. The area is very industrial with lots of building and lots of factories. But for some reason, there's a pod of around 30 dolphins who call this area their home and have lived here for many years. The main reason they're here, I think, is, is, uh, is three things. One is it's very protected from storms. Two is there are lots of fish here. And three is there don't seem to be any sharks in here. I think it's a bit, bit shallow for sharks. Finally, when it started to warm up and the fog lifted, we spotted our first dolphins for the morning. Dolphin! Straight across the air, about three quarters of the way over. But they didn't stay for long. They were more interested in riding the waves created by this cargo ship. While it might look dangerous, it's actually a lot safer for the dolphins to ride alongside a big vessel than a small, fast one. Particularly speedboats and jet skis can be hurtling around um, and not see the dolphins and can potentially um, hit them, possibly even kill them. But speedboats aren't the only dangers these dolphins face. When we came across this group, Mike pointed out that the baby with them isn't very healthy. He says it should be more active and playful. Here's the baby. Already this year, two baby dolphins have died and the researchers can't pinpoint exactly why because there are so many possible causes. Pollution, that's um, speeding boats, that's harassment by people who want to get too close to the dolphins all the time, um, people who might want to deliberately kill them, getting tangled up in fishing line and so forth. There's lots of, lots of issues. It's... One of the biggest problems is the pollution. Even though the Port River has been a dolphin sanctuary for the past seven years, there's still a lot of gross stuff in it. There is pollution in the environment here and it gets picked up by the fish and uh, the dolphins eat the fish. Um, so the dolphins here do have quite a lot of pollution in their bodies from, from the environment. Mike says it's a difficult issue to tackle because it's very expensive for factories to become environmentally friendly. And even though the government does charge them when they pollute, they still make more money from their products than they have to fork out for the damage they do. Well, it's a historic thing. They've been doing it for, for years and years and years and uh, it's difficult would be enormously expensive for them to suddenly stop polluting, even if it was technically possible. So the government has to kind of walk a, a tightrope between making it difficult for the com companies to pollute and, uh, and yet not putting them out of business. But if this unique pot of dolphins is going to survive in South Australia's urban waters, it's important that their environment is protected.